<laughs> Listen, cheap wines be doing it for me. I'm so happy I'm starting my vlogs again. Well, my weekly vlogs. Weekly vlogs are very entertaining for me and they're very therapeutic for me. But I'm about to head to Target because I have to return some things and I have to get some things. Like I have to get a new memory card and stuff because this only has like a few minutes left on it. Um, and then my other one just broke randomly. The little piece for the lock came off. I don't know what happened with that. Um, but then I have to go to Trader Joe's to get like a little bit of things because I don't feel like going all the way to Walmart. And then um, I have to go to Staples because I need to print out stuff for my uh, vision board because I'm making my vision board tonight. And I have to go to the dollar store to get like the board and um, like glue and random stuff. So I'm running a little bit of errands today. Yeah, so let's get to going. Hopefully there's not too much traffic. I mean, it doesn't really say there's traffic on the thing, but a lot of people are out of town, which is good. So I don't mind like doing errands right now. I sound so nasally. I was sick over the weekend. Um, like it was like two days that I was sick. And then I was not sick anymore. I was just stuffy. And then I'm still kind of not I'm not stuffy, but I sound really nasally. Um, but I'm not I'm not sick at all. I feel way better. And I have a lot of mucus though. That's what I hate. I hate when I get sick. I get like the mucus and it lasts for so long. I don't know how to change that. But yeah, I'm so excited to make my vision board. Like, when I tell you this year, I'm so focused. Like, I'm gonna be... <laughs> I know people are like driving by and then they look at me. Um, I'm gonna be like super on my shit this year. Like, I'm not playing. I'm tired of just... I'm tired of me. Like, I'm really tired of myself. I'm tired of how stupid I can be. And don't don't pull right next to me. Don't pull right next to me. Oh, I hate that shit. <laughs> and they sit there and stare at me. This light is long as fuck. It would be long as hell right now too. Is that anybody else's pet peeve? Like when you're at a light or something and someone wants to be directly next to you? Like, bro, 
inch up or inch back. Like I cannot stand being directly next to somebody. Cause then if you look over and y'all both look at each other and y'all just making eye contact, or sometimes it's some guy like trying to holler at me and I'm just like, I roll up the window, like stop talking to me, bro. And then they'll like beat the horn and shit and try to get my attention. I cannot stand that. But anyways, um, yeah, so I'm tired of myself, my dumb ass. <laughs> I'm never like consistent. I never stick with anything. Um, and that's why I don't see any progress in my life. Like certain things I'd be dead serious about. Like when I was moving, I was dead serious about that. When I get a job, like I'd be dead serious about getting my stuff done. And, and like, if I need a save for something, like I'm gonna get it done. But it's like, I have to really discipline myself. But for career wise and like, just like YouTube, social media, I could have been, I could have been up there, but I'm not consistent with anything. So, cause I know my content is good. Like I know stuff I put on on social media is good. And, and that pro it proved to me this year because I was more consistent with posting um, TikTok videos and reels, mostly reels. And um, once I got consistent with that, I seen a bunch of followers coming up. I seen a bunch of likes coming up and stuff like that. So both of my pages pretty much grew because I was consistent. But once I fall off, then it, you know, it dies down once you fall off. So why is this like crooked? Okay. Sorry if that was crooked like the whole time. <laughs> yeah, so like my consistency is the biggest thing and I can't stand when I do stuff like that. Or I'm like, oh, I don't wanna do this no more for like a few months and then I get back on it a few months later and then I fall back off a few months. Like it just, I'm annoying. I'm, I'm, I really annoy myself when it comes to stuff like that. So I need to get my grind on and work hard. I've been doing so much YouTube research and just trying to figure out not what lane I wanna do, but like, I know what I want to do is just like how to make it better, how to make my content better, how to make, how to get more ideas. I'm just pretty much inspiring myself and also like how to grow better and just be an overall better person on social media. So that's one of my goals on my vision board. Like I'm really trying to stick to, oh my God, I cannot, I gotta take this damn thing off. <laughs> I don't know why I even have my tassel on here. I had that for years. So ever since I graduated, I put it on my car. On my vision board, it's gonna be like healthy stuff. Well, I wanna keep maintain my fitness, but I also wanna be better at being more healthy and more conscious of what I'm putting in my body, be, having more vitamins, um, like better putting on what I'm putting on my skin, what I'm like, you know, stuff like that. I wanna be more conscious of ingredients I'm putting on my body and inside my body. And then also what was the, it was like, I wanna travel more and I want to, there was another one. Oh, I wanna elevate my style. Like I, I said this before, but I want to be more grown woman. Like I'm about to be 28 and I feel like, ugh, this thing never, I'm about to be 28. Yo, the roads in LA are like trash. <laughs> They're so trash. <laughs> Uh, well, especially where I'm at, Jesus. I definitely want to elevate my style. I want to, yes, I'm tall, and I don't feel like I'm as comfortable with wearing heels as I should be, but I wear them. Like, don't get me wrong, I wear them. I wear them way more than I used to because you just kind of have to sometimes when you go out. You can't be wearing sneakers all the time out, especially in LA. Um, but I just be feeling like I'm way too taller than everybody. Like it's ridiculous sometimes. But honestly, I don't really care. I need to start just elevating my style when it comes to that. Um, like being more grown women, putting things together more. Um, not looking so bummy all the time. <laughs> like I only dress up, not even dress up. I only look cute when I go to work. If I'm going to like run errands and stuff, I do not look like this. I be having freaking hat on and a big ass sweater and calling it a day. Like sometimes that's cute, but also I want to, if I'm going to wear bummy stuff like that, I want to make it still look cute. You get what I'm saying? Like I'm good at dressing. I'm good at styling and stuff. It's just, I've been slacking on all of that. And I also want to just look more, instead of looking like a kid, look, look a little bit more grown. What else? What else was there? there was one more thing on there. I forgot what it was. So yeah, so I'm gonna go to Target. So hopefully Target is not too packed. I pray it's not too packed because I know they're having sales and stuff and it's after Christmas, but I really, I really just <sighs> I hate going to the store. <laughs> the stores really stress me out. They stress me out so much.
open up my crap. <laughs> so, I'm back from the store. Um, I went to Target, Trader Joe's, Staples, Dollar Tree. I believe that's it. Yeah. Um, so from the Dollar Tree, I was just starting to walk around and get stuff, but I got this mug. I really just wanted like a longer mug because I feel like my mugs are really small. I have to like put extra, I mean, um, I have to like fill it up twice just to get as much as I want. Um, have some Q-tips because I needed some cracker thingies because I use these like on the go or if I'm like chilling in my bed or something, I'd just be like randomly flossing. <laughs> and then I got this for makeup because I feel like my makeup bag is too, there's too much stuff and I can never find anything. Like I'm always just like, da -da 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 -da, like it's just too much going on in that bag. So I'm gonna put my necessities, the stuff that I use the most in this and put it like on my desk where I do my makeup. I have to get a mirror for my desk too. Oh, and I got my, ooh, did this break? Okay, good. This is how you know it's a good mug. <laughs> I didn't break. This is my board. I'm not sure if like all the pictures are gonna fit on this board. Um, if not, then I'll just cut it smaller, but I'm not gonna glue anything down until I have everything designed the way I want to. But I just printed these out as staples instead of getting like actual pictures because I just wanted like different type of sizes. Like I didn't want, oh my God, dropping everything. I didn't want one size for each picture, if that makes sense. Like, I wanted mine to be like a real collage. Oh my God. So, it's not like beautifully vivid, but it'll do, it'll do. I just hate how some of the pictures came out like bluish than the color that I wanted, but it's okay. Like a lot of the white backgrounds of these came out blue. Like these, these were like more white background-y, but they came out kind of blue. So it's okay, it's just a vision board. It's not like real pictures that I'm taking. I mean, that I'm like hanging up and stuff, but, but I am gonna, I mean, I'm not gonna hang it up. I don't even know where I'm gonna put my vision board, honestly. I might put it in here, in the kitchen somewhere where I could see it every day, or I might just put it near my desk and hang it up. Like I have like a little section that I could just hang it up right there. I might put it over there, but I don't know. Um, yeah, so those are my pictures. This is what I'm gonna do tonight. I got some wine. Um, first of all, I'm back to buying my flowers since the holidays are over. I'm back to buying my little flowers. Get some life in this apartment. I do have two plants, but I definitely want more plants. I want, I want, I just want a lot of plants. Like I see people's houses and they have so many plants. It's so cute, but um, I don't take care of plants that well. Even these ones, they, the ones that I have, like they're, they don't die. They're just really good plants that you, you don't have to water them all the time. Maybe once a week, every two weeks, something like that. They have minimal, like you don't have to have a bunch of light shining on it. But I mean, if you do take care of it, it grows faster. But um, so I wanna find more plants like that because stuff that are high maintenance, I can't, I can't do it. I just, I can't do it. So from Target, I ended up getting that Definitely got that diffuser because I've been wanting a diffuser. A diffuser. I've been wanting a diffuser because I miss having like my essential oils in the house. And also I love me some frosted candles. I mean, frosted vanilla. Any type of vanilla or cupcake, I love. And then I got the this Harmony Pure Essential Blend. It's pretty much just lavender oil. It's lavender and floral, like this, that's the aroma which that's like a calming that's what i like I, I put it on i usually put my um diffuser on at night to like calm me down but i got a new uh heat protectant because i ran out and this morning i definitely didn't use none i just but i didn't i didn't want to straighten my hair this morning but this side was really was really bad it was like crunched up because i had my hair wrapped for like two days but i don't know why it was like that maybe it just had it wrapped wonky and it just made those uh creases or whatever but i didn't have no heat protected so i just went over that but it's okay it's okay it's okay so this is the wine i got so this is a merlot and i'm in a melback but i'm just hoping that it's not really dry but i feel like it is gonna be dry as fuck but it says it's a smooth wine i mean a smooth red wine and it has a lot of fruity flavors 
So, and it's a soft, full flavored wine. So I'm hoping it's not really dry. I really hate drinking really dry wine, but I want to start getting into red wines. But I like sweeter red wines. But it was only like $5, I think. And it has 13.5 um, percentage of alcohol, which heavy gave me lit. <laughs> oh my God, why am I putting everything so hard? I love wines that be making me feel good, man. And then the wines that get you there fast, like, well not fast, but one glass will do it. Usually two, I'm feeling nice. Okay, so I'm gonna make chicken. I have chicken breast, and then I'm gonna make this spicy Mexican style rice cauliflower. It has tomatoes, um, bell peppers and jalapenos already in it but I got it from um, Trader Joe's I never really try their package stuff but people be saying it's good and I looked at the um, the ingredients and it's not nothing like really crazy in it so it's pretty much decent sometimes these packs be having the wildest stuff like some people just don't read the ingredients at all and this these packs be tripping like <laughs> what the hell i think i'm just gonna make this whole pack well i don't even know because i don't think i'm gonna need this whole entire pack so one cup frozen oh wait okay there's about four servings per container so i'm gonna just do two because i'm not gonna need all four so just two cups of this so i could make this another time too all right but i'm gonna put this stuff away and come back later when i do my vision board Cause I think I'm gonna take it. No, I'm not gonna take a nap. I gotta edit some videos for Instagram. Then I'm probably gonna take a nap, and then I'm gonna be I'm gonna be up and doing this vision board. So I'll be back. So I'm waiting on the chicken to marinate. Look at how well seasoned this is. Season your food, baby girl. Season your food. <laughs> but I'm waiting for that to marinate for a little bit, and then I'm gonna turn on the oven. But I only edited one real video that took forever i don't know why it took so long um but then my ipad started dying so i had to wait i have to charge my ipad and my phone is um dying and i only have one charger at the moment so so i got bored and i was like let me just talk to y'all so we're gonna start drinking we might as well start drinking early i got something in my eye like oh if I look oily, it's because I just got out of the shower and I did my mini little skincare. I put that um, jojoba oil on my skin. Felt really good. Oh, there's like... I don't know if the oil got in my eye, like in my contact, but it seems like it's blurry. Okay, so we're going to open this and try to taste it. I honestly cannot stand corkscrewed um, wine. I hope this is not like very overexposed because or like very fuzzy looking because um the lighting in here is always trash and I do have a light let me see I have this light right here that it screws on to my camera now because I got the little piece and I just like hook it up right here um but I just feel like that's extra for vlogs you know what I'm saying like hold on let me turn this down before I blind myself okay like you see, I just feel like it's just too much for for like a vlog. Well, no, I guess not. Maybe I should put the light in there because the light looks crazy without it. I don't know. Let me put it on. Let me try it. Okay, that's a little better. Yeah, there's something. Hold on. Let me get this on my eye. But this set is from Target. I washed it and everything. I got the shorts to match with it. So I just love pajamas now. I'm a pajama girl now. I officially have four, five sets. Five sets. Already. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, this, I hate, I'm a bartender and I freaking hate, absolutely hate corks. I love the sound though. Like I love, I absolutely love that sound, but I just hate corks, especially when I have to open a new bottle when somebody asks for it. It's just like, and be busy as hell. And they always ask for it when it's busy as hell. Can I get some wine? And we don't have any wine open. I have to get wine. I'm just sitting there like, and then I hate the worst part about my job is like, we have plastic cups, which is ghetto for 
an LA club because they be charging like $15 a drink. <laughs> so I understand when people are like, we get this little plastic cup for $15, like what? Yeah, I get it, I get it, I understand. I'm sorry, I don't make the rules. Like some people would really be looking at me like I create all the rules in this club. Like I just work here. This job just pays my bills. <laughs> like I don't know what to tell you. I have no say in anything. But yeah, so people would be like, do you have wine glasses? Do you have champagne glasses? I'm like, no. If we have plastic cups, do you think we're gonna have champagne glasses and wine glasses? No. <laughs> but it's just it's just funny. Like I get it. There's a lot of bouginess in LA, but I understand when it comes to the pricing. Like if you're gonna price that high, at least be a little bit bougie. Like do the do the plastic um wine glasses or something like do a little bit more of an upscale of the the cups if you're gonna do plastic cups do like the harder plastic cups not the little dollar store little plastic cups but I, i'm not knocking my job i'm just saying like i that's not the only one i've worked at i've worked at i think two more two more places like doing events and stuff and they have plastic cups as well so whatever i don't make the rules maybe i just get paid to be here <laughs> okay this might be a mix of dry and sweet this might be bearable because if this is just dry I'm gonna be pissed it's dark too it's a dark red well if that's what Merlot is let me do the the tough sweet I want to go wine tasting one day I just want to get drunk off wine with like a boyfriend or something. Just find different wines because I don't really try that many wines. <laughs> it definitely like tingled my whole mouth. It's for sure a drier wine, but it's not bad. Like I can, I can drink this. It's a fruity dry wine, but it's not to the point where I'm like, this nasty like i think i could like this listen cheap wines be doing it for me <laughs> i used to work at olive garden and um i've tried like a more of expensive type wine well expensive for olive garden whatever like you know that type of wine and it's nasty <laughs> i guess it's really like a an acquired taste but the cheap wines be doing it for me and they be game meter like i i don't drink wine really for the taste i drink wine to feel good like i to feel sexy and on i mean i have literally nothing no man to go to tonight or anything like that but i don't want to feel sexy for them i want to feel sexy for me okay and i'll be in a good mood when i drink wine like sometimes i want to drink wine at work instead of like throwing back shots <laughs> Or drinking beer like sometimes I just want to be drinking wine but I feel like if I drink wine I'm gonna be way too flirty which I might get more tips but still I don't I don't want to be too too flirty and then they want to like I'm, I already get asked out on hella dates which some men really need to stop asking bartenders on dates because it's gonna be enough nine times out of ten is gonna be enough we're either gonna lie and say we're married or have a boyfriend or we're just gonna be like no sorry I'm not interested because we know what type of people come into the club like yeah some people some guys do come to the club and just chill like they're not trying to be on that type of time or they're not that type of person but nine times out of ten it's gonna be like a real fuck boy coming up to you asking you for your number like he done asked jan fucking keisha and shauna over there already like we done seen you hook up with this one this one and this one but now you want to be in my face asking me for my number and all that shit bye bye <laughs> We see way too much in the club. Like we're not about to sit here and really take you seriously. We're gonna try to get as much money as we can out of you. That's just what we're gonna do as bottle girls, as bartenders, all that. That's just that's our job. That's what we come to work for. But just like strippers, strippers come to work to make money. So they're gonna shoot you up. They're gonna they're gonna try to find like as much like flirtiness as they can. They're gonna try to talk to you as much as they can to get the money out of you. Like this that's that's the business. That's what you gotta do. You gotta talk. And you just gotta flirt and be cute and da da da. But sometimes flirting too much can send the wrong message to certain people, and then they're like, they want like, oh, he, she wants me, da da da, and they be doing too much. So you gotta like know a balance. And I've been bartending for a few years, so I I know my balance. I know I know when to like try to get it, whatever, what type to do it with. You know, like you just you learn some things. You learn some things. 
I could get used to this. It's gonna take a little growing, but it's not terrible. This is pin whatever, I don't even. This, this is this. I think it's time for me to turn it on. Oh, I've been listening to some, I've been listening to old school music a lot lately. I don't know why, it's just, just the, the vibe to it has just been making me feel like, I don't know, I'm really tired of this turn up music because like I said, I work at the club, I hear it all the time. I'm tired, like yes, I like 90s R&B, I love me some 90s R&B. I'm honestly tired of now's R&B. Um, now's r&b is just not hitting the same it's honestly all about either you want some man back or he did you wrong and this is what you want to do or did it like it's not the same old school music is just like i love you or i want you back baby like i'm just sending my love like 90s 90s r&b is kind of similar to that that's probably why i like the two and i just been flowing more towards that Somebody is like banging on something. But I just been flowing more towards that because I know a lot of 90s music as, as so all the time. That's just what I grew up on. That's just what I know. So I know like some old school music, but I, my parents were born in the 70s. So like they weren't like old school like that. They were in high school in the 90s. <laughs> so they know music, but they didn't co like they didn't play a lot of that old school music in the house and stuff. So I didn't listen to a lot of it. I know some of it, but I didn't listen to a lot of it. So I just been putting on like the Isley Brother Pandora radio and just letting it play or um, Luther Vandross radio and just letting it play or like Teddy Pendergrass, like stuff like that has been letting it play and just finding new songs like that I've heard maybe 90 samples of I'm like oh this is where that came from or you know stuff like that so I've been really vibing out just in the car like today when I was driving through my little errands I was not frustrated at all maybe it's because there wasn't that much traffic it is holiday season like not and anybody's really here in LA the, the streets clear it's great it's lovely um but when I was driving I just felt like hmm like it was good weather, felt some wind in my hair, just da -da -da -da. like, you know, I don't know. It just, it just made me feel good. It just made me feel good. And a lot of it talks about like nice love, like gentle love, not that toxic rush shit that we're used to now. Like, that's what I want to feel like. That's what I want to be. Like, I want to be in love like that. <sighs> It's just lovely. So I'm probably going to put that on right now and just vibe a little bit while I cook and I don't know, record what I record and then I'm gonna do my vision board after. I'll probably come back and I'll be drunk off of one little glass. <laughs> this isn't even a full glass. Full glass for me is like right here, right here. But I'm, I'm, I'm pacing myself, pacing myself.
finish it's almost 11 o'clock <laughs> gluing these was like low-key a disaster because I was getting glue first of all the spray on my glue I don't know why I got a spray stupid the spray on my glue broke and then um it just kept like pouring out everywhere thank god it was clear <laughs> it was getting on everything and then like some of these were moving so like some of these are like low-key crooked if you really stare at it but it's okay it's okay so we're just gonna go with it but this section I made like my style like how I want to be more of a grown woman and then more you know softer like you know just more put together and like more woman like there you go not like I'm not a woman but like you know I just want to be more grown woman this one's soft life a life of ease peace comfort um intentional happiness it does not require struggle love stress and distress it consists of mutual relationships clarity and self-care perfect um I love her this is I believe Bron Bronnie I think that's how you say it love her style she just can put anything together and it works and I want to I put her up there because I want to experiment with my style more. Like, she's grown, but everything she wears, like, she could wear sneakers, she could wear jeans, whatever, but everything just looks so woman-like and put together and grown and sexy, like, everything. So, I love her style. I just want to experiment more. And these are for heels. Like, I want to wear more heels in life, like I said. This one says, being clean and smelling good is therapeutic period i want to definitely grow my collection of um uh what is it called <laughs> perfumes <laughs> and then this is my workout and healthy like i want to be more healthy with my body and, so, and conscious of what i'm putting in my body and then you know my body's almost like this but you know i just want to like keep it up and get a bigger butt <laughs> this is like a style not well this is like a everyday errand style type thing so that that goes hand in hand with like my style and like uh working out stuff um and her body's cute her hair is cute too but then this is like more of my youtube stuff so these are my favorite youtubers Alyssa and arnell and then um Aaliyah, definitely one of my favorites this is like more of a style i like lori harvey's style it's cute it's like grown but it's also like stuff that i would wear as well um, so I put content creation up there. That's my camera right there in my hand. <laughs> and then I put this, it's like a 50 or no, what is a hundred subscribe, hundred thousand subscribers. 
that's like really, really thinking, but I really want that plaque one day. So that's gonna be on my vision board. I don't know how many years it's gonna be on there, but it's gonna be on there until I get it up, until I actually get it. So um, yeah, I put my name just to manifest it more. YouTuber, put my name on it. Um, this is from Aaliyah's story. I found this on Pinterest, but it's from her story. But you know, I have like a Mac like that. So this is how I edit and I have Final Cut Pro. This is just like, this is visualizing me like making TikToks and social media stuff. Um, money, I just want money and finances. I got a big number up here just to, you know, aim for the sky, baby. <laughs> this one says, girl, do it for you. Exactly. That's exactly why I started YouTube again now because I'm doing it for me and not for anybody else. This one says financial independence. I want to be, I don't want to work for anybody. Like I really want to work for myself and I don't want to be stressing about any type of money. So boom. Um, this is like more of a, I just want to read more. I do read, but I want to read like at least a book a month or something like that. So I just put a key to any goals consistency so that just applies to everything on this board and then traveling definitely need to travel more i need to stop putting that aside and definitely see the world because i really want to um this i'm creating the life of my dreams definitely so yeah i thought this was like perfect for me like all of this is what i've been thinking of for a few months now and now i just 2023 i'm definitely putting it to life and i'm making sure that i'm gonna get it done this light really comes in clutch though because my lighting at night is so bad first of all i don't know what happened to my voice here we go again my voice is about to be gone so i'm facetiming and my cheeks get really rosy like I, you can see it a little bit they get really rosy when i drink alcohol especially wine so i look like i'm like blushing and being all like flirty and whatnot <laughs> but this is the last that i'm gonna drink i think i drank like half of the bottle probably like half the bottle yeah and but i was drinking it like really slow um i've been drinking it when i was cooking and then doing this vision board this vision board took me a little minute to do like just trying to figure out where i want everything and then gluing them down it is a little difficult <laughs> But I'm going to take a picture of this and like recreate the same thing, digital form, and then put that on my iPad because I want to have this like in the background. Yeah, so I'm going to finish this cup and then I'm going to put on a show and just chill out for the night. Did I get wine on my couch? Oh my God. I will never have a light couch again. I lied. Because honestly, I probably will have a light couch again. I cannot wait to have like a big, a nice big couch, like a really comfortable sectional couch and have enough space for that. Like I love my place. It's so comfortable. It is, it's so cozy. Like I made it super homey, but I'm definitely ready for like a one bedroom, bigger space. But, you know, finances aren't ready yet because rent be crazy. So, you know, got to get the hustling. And then hopefully, maybe I should have put that. Nah, you know, that would be my 2024. That wouldn't be my 2023. Because I'm not rushing getting an apartment. Like, if I, if I can stay here, I'm going to stay here. But definitely 2024, I for sure want to have a one-bedroom. So... All right, let me go to bed because now I'm just talking because I'll go on just talking. <laughs> Hola. It is currently, it's currently seven o'clock. I got to be at work at eight and I just got out the shower. I got some wine in my hand because we starting off early. I don't know if I'm going to be doing hard tequila today or if I'm just going to stick with wine. But I just wanted to like, you know, start off right with some wine. I had it in, when I was in the shower, pour me a little glass. And let's get this night started right. Um, I want to play my music and enjoy myself. So I, oh, I was supposed to do the heatless curls, but listen, when I got out the, um, when I got home, 
I was so hungry that I made my food so fast, ate it so fast, <laughs> and then I just knocked out. And I didn't even bother doing the heatless curls, whatever. It's okay, because this is the last day my hair is going to be straight anyways, and then I'm going to wash it tomorrow because I need to go back to the gym and stuff. So I'm going to put my heat protector in to try to protect it, and I'm going to like do pretty much pin curls, like curl them and then hold it up and you know let it let it air dry um it is i mean let it let it air dry <laughs> let it cool down fireworks are already going off it is raining outside but it's okay it's okay it's okay it's okay it's okay, it's okay. we're gonna have a good night i'm making sure i am positive and i'm gonna have a good night so yeah let's get to it i'm just gonna um yeah i'm enjoying myself blast my music and i'm gonna like speed this up or whatever and just watch me get ready i better find your love already it's because it's already raining and like the windows are open so it's probably like I don't know I don't know but my hair is just not staying it's okay it's whatever I just needed to have like a little bit of twist right here but I'm about to put on a little wrap when I go outside and yeah so I did a little red lip little pop of gold in my eye whatever some simple some cute um but yeah so be safe everybody tonight and I'm out of here. I'm already running late, as always. Let's, we're gonna have a better, um, we're, we're not gonna do this in the new year, okay? This is the last time I'm running late. It's the last time. <laughs> it's five in the morning. I'm going to bed. My lipstick is off. <laughs> I'm tired, but made some money. Happy New Year 2023. Good morning. Happy New Year, everybody. I have my glasses on, I do not care. I am tired, but today I'm chilling in the house. Well, all right, so yesterday was New Year's. Um, I worked until five, five o'clock. I got home at five, why is my nose running? Time out. I got home at 5.30 in the morning, and then I woke up at like 9.30, and then <laughs> I was up for a little bit, and then I knocked out for like five hours. And yeah, so I chilled all day yesterday. I was like, I'm not doing no work. I'm not doing like this is the chill day don't bother me don't talk to me about no dumb shit like I'm chilling I cooked me some food had me a little bit of wine you know brought in the new year the way I would want to you know well yeah I brought in the new year the way I wouldn't want to bring in the new year made money and then chilled on New Year's Day loved it and I was alone like come on come I love being by my I was a little bored not gonna lie towards the end 
but I love being by myself so I be chilling I was not complaining I was chilling had some you know some time with my bed had some time with my couch time with my TV you know it was a good time it was a good time um so today is the second happy new year's I hope everybody had a good new year and wasn't stressed out was it you know i hope everybody was safe and all that is this crooked whatever if it's crooked it's crooked um so i'm about to make some coffee and then i'm chilling today this is going to be the wrap up to my vlog um i'm editing a bunch of stuff today i was going to go to the gym but <laughs> the first week of the gym is about to be wicked <laughs> like it's about to be ugly in the gym um I, but i need to go back so i'm gonna go back tomorrow because i have to go to some stores anyway so it's like i'm already gonna be over in that area mine as well whatever but i just know i'm gonna have to rework my schedule i mean um rework my workouts because i just know there's gonna be so many people and trying to get the machines that i want to get i bet you i'm not gonna get it hopefully my gym isn't as crazy this week but I don't know I can't I can't really remember how last week was I mean how last year was around this time I don't think it was too busy but you know the first week is always crazy at every gym so but I honestly woke up today like craving some coffee and I don't want to go back to sleep so I'm like let me get some coffee I did buy some um, caffeinated tea because I'm gonna start drinking that more instead of coffee but sometimes I want my little vanilla this is a, um, a white chocolate coffee and then I mix it with some vanilla um, creamer. So fire. So fire. It just reminds me of like cold holiday. I don't know. I'm still in the holiday spirit. I don't want to really want to take my decorations down. They make me happy. <laughs> but it's okay. Soon we will take them down. Maybe in like a week or so I'll take them down and then redecorate. I ordered, well I'm about to order some... Uh, like a new bedspread a new debate cover because I want a darker green like I like this um teal green color that I have but I want a darker forest green for a little bit um well it's not forest green it's more of like an olivey green and see how that looks and then probably change my bed sheets to I'm gonna try to find something at Walmart or something like that yeah so anybody wondering I do have a thick prescription so listen I don't care <laughs> I do not care. I love these glasses now. They are new. They're way better than the glasses that I had before. Them things was ugly. Um, and they were like just falling apart. As you can tell, I don't get new things until they start falling apart. <laughs> I didn't get a new camera. I didn't get new glasses. Like I just, I wait till things fall apart and then I buy it. Cause it isn't really necessary. But yeah, I just wanted to check in and tell y'all how my new year New, going into New Year's went and then my New Year's Day it was chill nothing crazy happened I was actually in a really good mood especially like the after hours party was the, the best part of the night because it was hella chill it was cool people were tipping they were gracious everybody was drunk already ready to just party like they were having a good time um so yeah it was a cool time I wasn't as tired as I thought I was gonna be and I wasn't drunk so I was chilling revive but I am keeping this hair until tonight because I have work and it's very oily so I'm gonna just throw it up like probably slick it and throw it up and then uh, I'm gonna wash it tomorrow so that's all I have for you in this vlog I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you guys have a great start to your year and I wish nothing but the best for everybody this year I just know I just feel it in my heart that it's gonna be a really good year because um 2022 had hands for me for sure but you know it's okay it didn't be my ass it didn't be my ass <laughs> but anyways um please like subscribe if you stay to the end and um follow me on instagram and all that good good stuff and um yeah i'm out <laughs>